go to put a video in place. Put it on there. Take it. You're going to put it in here. Oh, and it worked. What do you know? So I'm going to show you how I edit a video. So I bring up my editing software. And now I'm going to give you a look see. My programming. I just took a simple video off my YouTube channel and I'm going to give you a look see at how I edit my videos. Just like so. I then oops. Expand it. That, that. Oh, I'm missing one. That one. Does not want to go on there. Copy. Why does it not want to go on there? Shorten the video. It's not in here. See, you get issues with Filmora trying to get add things to it. It's crazy. I don't understand what the deal is. As you can see, I've only got my intro, my uh, subscribe and like, and my video. But it will not allow me to add this, which I've done a thousand times. So I'm going to try doing this. And I'm going to put that, I'm going to put them in there first. There, see? Goes in. This one goes in. My intro. That goes in. And then the video itself. So I've had troubles with Filmora 9. I actually bought the license for Lifetime. And since doing so, this thing crashes like you would not believe. Let's see if it'll do it for you now. You hit this. Oh, well now watch. Basically, I've started a new project. It's all clean. Everything's fresh. And it should just work. I've already logged into my account. Everything's up to date and ready to go. When I hit this a second time, it crashes. It's done. So I have to restart it. So I'm going to restart it again. <clears throat> and you'll see what I'm talking about. Back over here. New project. Now. Yeah, I'm in there. So basically, I'm going to try to add these videos again. Oh wait, I'll even make it even more so clear. I'll hit file and I'll do new project so it starts a clean, fresh slate. I'll put this back in here. Now it's in there. I will then add my other videos. My intro. My end my subscribe and like. Now, I'll try this again. There. And as you can see, Filmora has got some serious bugs. I'm not even sure if it was worth paying the $100 it cost to have it for a lifetime license. It just refuses to work properly. And it's like this new Logitech Cam C922. As you can tell, it's got a lot of artifacts. It's got a lot of problems. I've tried various lighting effects. I've tried everything. And basically, it doesn't seem to matter. They poorly programmed it in order to set it out there so people can actually just spend the money and not actually get a quality product. Once again, new project. I'll even go into... Project settings, everything's the way I want it. Well, 
set it at 60 frames. I'm doing HD. So, here we go. Drop it in here. Drop it down here. And as you can see, it refuses to run. I'm like baffled. I've even messaged Filmora about this Wondershare and they just have no answer. It's a bug in their system and they were, they're not going to fix it. There's nothing they're going to do about it. So I'm going to put this back over here again. I am going to check the preferences. Everything is the way I have it set. There we go. Actually, I want to change something. There. Now, once again, I'll go new project, so it's a fresh slate. I will then add the video. Now, without adding all that other stuff, I'm going to do this again. And there we go. It's a continuous problem. I got to keep doing this until it actually allows me to use Filmora. I mean, they love to brag about how it's simplified video, as you can see, editing simplified. But the problem is, is it's not. They got issues, major issues. I'm going to try yet again to show you. It's just a continuous loop of the same crap. There we go. I'm going to add the video again. Now, here we go. Well, there you go. As you can see, it's not at all, you know, what I want, especially when I need to be able to match the video for the high quality that I'm using. I'm using a 1080p system, and I need to be able to have this up and running for the videos that I produce are all in 1080p, and I can't continually fight with this system all because it just will not accept. Now, I could do this. There. Right? Don't change. Don't change. It still crashes. It's telling me that the frame rates don't match. And I know they don't. It's supposed to sync them up so they do. And I'm trying desperately to make this work. It works 50% of the time. You know, it's like uh, Windows... 98, you know, half the time when you start it, it'll run, the other half the time it will just crash. Well, that's the same thing with this Filmora 9. And I'm pretty sure Filmora Pro is the same way, because I did try it for a while and I didn't like it. So you're basically going to run into the same issue no matter what you do. Look at the project settings. Yes, the frame rate doesn't match. So I'll put it to 30 frames per second. Everything should be good. Put this in here. Once again. It'll crash. So, there you go. You got first-hand view of what Fillmore is about. So, I hope you uh, like the video and understand that Fillmore is not the best program to buy. It crashes regularly. They have no idea what what's going on with their system. I've tried to message them, talk to them, ask them what to do, how are they going to come up with a fix, but it's not going to happen. So it's the same thing with Logitech C922 Pro. I've asked them, why does their, their chroma keying have such bad artifacts and whatnot? And they're trying to say lighting. They're trying to say everything else. It's like on my end of it. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but I did not program this. It's your fault. So... Um, hope you liked the video. Hope it was a little informational. Bye.
Drop top, top, smoking, no cooking the hot pot. Fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park pot.